Hello all, welcome back to Quest Zero. In today's session, continuing our discussions on the projection of planes, we'll take up a square lamina. The problem statement is as follows: A square lamina of 40 mm side rests on one of its sides on HP. The lamina makes 30 degrees to HP, and the side on which it rests makes 45 degrees to VP. Draw its projections. So this is a simple straightforward planar representation. Then we will first draw the xy line. Okay. And I will try to obtain as far as possible lines that are parallel with your HP pencil normal pressure draw the xy line name them x y also name the projection planes vp and hp since we are drawing it the projections in first angle of projection the vp will be above hp and sorry above xy and hp will be below hp next we need to draw a square lamina since it rests on hp we will draw the entire square in the HP plane and we will also try to maintain since it is resting on one of its sides, we will try to draw the resting side to the right side of the diagram. So what is the distance 40 millimeter a little away from the Diagram with a 2B pencil. Forty. Draw a square which is a 40 millimeter. with your 2B pencil okay. such that the edge lies onto the right side one of the edges out of the four you can maintain any one of the side to be on the right side uh, naming this will be A, B, C, and D. Dimension it will represent one of the sides as 40 with a 2 H pencil lightly. mark we represent it by drawing a square before marking the dimension meaning that it is a square of 40 millimeter length now draw the projection lines to obtain the front view so if you place it on the HP so when you see from the front view direction and project it onto the plane it will be seen as and now okay it will be seen as a straight line so the same straight line will be represented by using pencils okay the distance between the projection lines will be darkened on the xy line don't forget to do this now naming you observe the projection when it takes place 
this edge will be visible this corner will be visible but this corner which lies exactly behind the upper corner will be hidden so similarly when you see from this direction p dash will be visible but a dash will be hidden similarly c dash will be visible d dash will be hidden okay so this completes the first position view next we need to make the lamina 30 degrees to hp so select a random point away give an inclination ab is the resting edge so 30 degrees mark a 30 degree line Okay, so this is 30 degrees. Measure the length from the front view, which is nothing but B dash, A dash to C dash, D dash. B dash A dash since it rests on HP, it should lie on XY line. Cut an arc. Name the points or darken the line first. This is B dash A dash. The upper is C dash D dash. Okay. Now, Draw the projection lines to obtain the top view of the square. So from the 2 edge pencil, draw the projection lines. Okay. Slightly offset. You need to keep it parallel to XY line. Hmm. This is the projected top view. With your tube pencil, darken the projected top view diagram. Name them. So this is A, B, C, and D. If you observe the resting edge AB as well as CD, it uh, it was parallel to the VP plane, hence it has, sorry, HP plane, hence it has retained its same size. So, if you observe like this, if I give an inclination, this edge as well as the opposite edge, it remains the same. That is what we are represented. And finally, it says that the side on which it is resting makes 45 degrees to VP. So, I can give an anti-clockwise inclination or a clockwise inclination to AB. We will go with a clock. Mark a point there. Measure 45 degrees anti clockwise. Since the sheet was running out of space on the sheet, I made it the anti clockwise rotation. This is 45 degrees. 
you have the provision if you have a broader sheet you can rotate it clockwise as well okay so now yes okay so i'll take a random point cut an arc the point will be a okay i'll draw it here yeah mark and this intersection of 45 degree and the arc will be b so from a measure till d similarly from b it is the same length it is not 40 this arc is also not there from b to d take the measurement cut an arc similarly the same measurement will hold good from a to c from a to c cut an arc the intersection points will be d c join them a b i'll join first from b to c from C to D and from D to A. Okay. Now take the projections from these lines, these points to obtain the front view. So from D I'll draw a projection line till the position of D dash. Okay, okay, I have exceeded it. Not an issue. From A till XY line. From C till the position of C dash. From the second position. From B till XY line. Similarly, from C dash, D dash in the second position till the intersection of the lines from c and d in the third position top view so i'll erase the excess projection lines so this is d dash and this is c dash this will be a dash okay not this Running this end, so this will be a dash, this will be b dash. Join these points a dash to d dash, c dash to b dash, from c dash to d dash, and from a dash to b dash. This completes the solution for the given problem. So in the next session, we will continue with more number of four corner geometrical figures. Until then, thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.